how to generate your AI African folktale stories or any other kind of stories with Village AI in Nigeria, like this. Far from the noise of the city lived an old woman and her husband, two humble farmers whose love had So you can actually start up a channel from this lesson that I'll be teaching you today. You can start up your YouTube channel, creating images like this, creating stories like this. A lot of you actually create stories and your images do not align with your narrator voice. Your images don't have consistent characters. I'll be teaching you how to do all that today for your video to have consistent character throughout the video or throughout the story. And then again, your narrator voice will align with your story to make it... Mwah. So watch this video to the end. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to share. And do not forget to comment in the comment section the next AI kind of video you want me to teach you how to create or any kind of AI tool that you want me to actually review for you. Okay? So I'll be teaching you step by step today. Without wasting your time, let's go into this video and let's watch how to create African folktale stories or any other kind of story for you to be able to get a monetized YouTube channel without copyright, without reused content and all that. So let's go and have a good one. So first thing first, what you need to do is to go to ChatGPT. I'll open my ChatGPT like this. Now, a lot of you make mistakes why you don't get consistent characters because you tend to do your videos differently. Now, here I'll start with ChatGPT and I'll tell ChatGPT to give me a short story about an old, an old woman, an old woman and the husband, the husband. Living, living in a village in Nigeria, okay? You can use Kenya, you can use any of them, any one that you want, depending on your folk tales that you want to tell, which country that you want to tell, always do that, okay? Okay, and they are both farmers, okay? They are both farmers and love each other, each other so much. And promise, promise to die on same day. Okay, so I just, this is something that I just actually uh, brought up because normally a lot of people are focused on a particular type of story. So this one will actually, you know, help you somehow. So let me click on generate. I'll click on generate and I'll wait for them to give us this story. short story about the old couple in a quiet village. So they've given us in a quiet village in Nigeria, lived an old woman and her husband. So they have it here. This is it. Okay. Now I'll come here and ask ChatGPT. I'll say, you see here, ChatGPT say, if you did like, I can also turn this into a 3D pixel style story, a YouTube narration script or image prompt. So you see this, that is it, right? Now you can tell them now, turn this turn this into a YouTube, yeah, a YouTube, YouTube narration script, okay? So, which means this was just a story, but ChatGPT will always tell you what you want and always read along the line. Always read is very important, okay? Now, I said, please, let me add please. Please turn this into a YouTube narration story. So, they'll give us this now, there. Let's wait for it. Now, it will come out as a perfect story with the narration and everything. There you have it. Okay? Now, they said down here, they say, if you want, I can also create a thumbnail prompt. That's it. A thumbnail prompt, an AI-generated 3D scene, a short TikTok version. Have you heard? Always read here. This is for beginners, I beg. This is for beginners. If you want to do your good stories and make sure you do them like a pro. This is what you do because ChatGPT always got you, okay? Now here, I'll say first thing first, then they say generated AI scenes, okay? Now, if you want, okay, you say, please, please create me, give me, give me AI, AI generated, generated scenes. 3D, AI 3D scenes with consistent character. This is where you don't mess up. You always want consistent character because you want your images to be consistent throughout your video, okay? So this is the first one. We'll ask for they should give us 
the 3D consistent character. So they'll give us this. It's easy how you can do everything here and you just need to go to the next tool and then you do what you want to do. Character consistency used for every scene. So they've given us every scene. All husband, 70 years, 70 year old Nigerian man, slim build, warm smiled. So that is it. That's the man's um, description. The second one, this is the woman's description. The, the, old woman, the, the old woman's description, sorry. Now you come down here and you have, this is the scene one, walking to the farm together at sunrise. So this is the first scene. This is the second scene. This is the third scene. This is the fourth scene. Now this story is not too long, right? Which is very perfect for your stories. Now you have this. Down here, you can actually ask them to generate these stories, these images for you. Okay, they say, if you want, I can now generate the actual image. Just say generate image for scene one. You see, that's all. Just say generate image for scene one. And again, create YouTube thumbnail prompt, motion, motion prompt or caption ideas. Okay, now we have not gotten to that part. We start with generate. We say generate image for scene one. Okay, now I'll come here and say, please generate image for scene one okay generate image for scene one now we have this one generate image for scene one i'll click here and i'll wait for them to generate the image for scene one now they're generating image so basically, this is generating in 9.16. If you want it to be in the YouTube size, tell them to generate images for you in landscape, landscape mode, which is going to be the YouTube format. This one is the, the TikTok, the Instagram, or the shorts format. And since this story is short, that's why they actually gave me in a short format, like in a portrait mode. So this is the portrait mode. Wait for this to generate. This is perfect. I love this picture. It's perfect. Now, when you're done, click on the picture. Just click on top of the picture and click on generate. There you uh, save. Sorry, click on save. And there you go. Now we go generate the other ones and then we come back. Okay. So now let's go. So after we are done generating all our images, these are the images I got. After done generating all the images, the next thing we need to do now is to turn these images into pictures. Why I generated the images before turning them into pictures? Because I want it to be consistent character. I don't want to miss the character. So first off, I'll copy this. The first prompt. I'll copy the first prompt. The next two we'll be going to is the Hello AI. You all know Hello AI is like my faves. Okay. Now when we get to Hello AI, this is it. Now you see text to video. You see image to video. We'll choose image to video here. I'll click on image to video and then you see the first frame. I'll click on the first frame up there and it will ask me album or camera. I'll go to album and then I'll choose the first uh, image that I created. Okay, so that is the first image we generated. Let's wait for the image to load. Now, once this image load, the image is there. Down here, you see unleash your creativity. I'll click there and I'll paste that prompt. So the same prompt you use in creating the image is the same prompt you are using to generate the video so i'll click here and click paste okay now i have my paste and then i'll click on finish now after doing finish then we click here on 25 you see the 25 below you click on 25 now this is hello ai for those of you who do not know hello ai i'll put it in the description box or, or everything that i'm doing here all the tools that I'll be using, I'll mention them in the description box. So I'll do this same movement for all the videos. This is the first one. This is the first. Why this is loading? I'll go back to ChatGPT. Okay. I'm showing you guys step by step because I don't want you to miss. Now I'll copy the second scene. Click and copy the second scene. Copy. Go back to the Hello AI tool. We are going back to the Hello AI tool. And then we come here. Why this one is generating? Let's give it... Time to generate. Okay. Why that one is generating? I'll come here and I'll delete that picture. Then I click and add a new picture. That is scene two. Okay. Now I'll add scene two. Uh, this is my scene two. Okay. So after adding the scene two, I'll wait for it to also load. Same way. Then we'll delete this. Now we click on this write-up because this write-up was the scene one write-up. I'll click my finger and delete everything. Okay. After doing all the deleting please we come here and we paste i'll paste that 
prompt that I copy again. I did this twice because I want you to see it well. Now I'll do again, generate. Okay, so this is the same movement that I'll do all the other ones off camera because I don't want to take your time. Okay, this one is generating. When it's done, I'll show you the result. Okay, now the next thing we need to do now is to go back to the um, chat GPT. Then we go to the main story itself, the start of the story, which is this story. Okay, in a quiet village in Nigeria lived an old man. This is the story, right? And then they gave us a narrator version. This is the narrator version. Now we'll come here and copy the narrator version and go and create our voiceover. Okay, where do we create our voiceover on 11 labs? For those of you who have not used 11 lab before, I'm going to create a voiceover on 11 labs. So I have copied everything that I need to copy here. And now I'll be going to 11 labs. Now I'm using my 11 labs uh, on uh, here. I'm using my 11 labs from my browser. So I'll go right like this and check for my 11 labs. Okay, so now we have 11 labs. This is our 11 labs. So those of you who have not used 11 labs before, uh, okay, so this is 11 labs. For those of you who have not used 11 labs before, this is 11 labs and this is how it looks like. Now I'll come here where it says start typing here or paste any text. I'll click there. Just click and then you click again. Then it asks you to paste. Then you paste your story. So this is my story. Okay, the story we copied from ChatGPT. Remember, always copy the narrator version. I'll click here on done. I'll go down here and choose a voice. So let's say we want to choose a voice of um, who is going to narrate this story. Where you see Rachel, you click on Rachel. I'll click on Rachel. Then I'll look for a voice that suits the story that I want to tell. Our distrust is very expensive. Just trust yourself. The thing always happens that you really believe in. So I'll choose Brian. And belief okay. in a thing makes it happen. I'll choose this one. And I'll go with that. Okay. So I clicked on it already and you see down here now it turns to Brian. Then I'll click on generate speech. And then we wait for our speech to generate. So while our videos are generating, the speech is generating too. Okay. Remember, I have only generated two stories, uh, two uh, images, two videos. So yeah, we have this. Let's wait for this to generate. So I show you how to save it as well into your phone for you to be able to use it. In to a the quiet next village day. in Nigeria, far from the noise of the city, lived an old woman and her husband. Okay, perfect. Now you see down here, you can see beside the play button, you can see a save button as well. If you click on that save button, you wait, it says download, you click on download, then you wait it to download to your files. Okay, down here, if you see this download here, if you click, definitely it will show you that it's downloading to your files. Okay, so that's, we wait for that to download and it's going straight to our file. Then I'll show you how to use it as well. Okay, so you see it down here, downloads. This is it. In a quiet village in Nigeria, we got it. far from save the noise it, of the city, on save. How you guys save your things, I don't know, but yeah. Two save humble it to your file. Whose love had lasted so I'll just 50 years. save it, new story. Every morning, okay? before the sun even I know that people who don't know this process. They walk to their small... I know that people who don't know this process. So we are done with this, and then we are going back to our Hello AI. I hope I'm not very fast. So this is the first one. Let's see. Oh, perfect. Now let's put our story together. After generating all your images, we put our story together. Okay. So now the finishing part is to put our story together. I'll be opening my CapCut app. Open your CapCut like this. You click on new video or add videos, depending on how yours is. So I have this. Now the first thing I'll do is to add my videos according to the story. So the first is the village, right? The second is the mom and the old man walking uh, in the path. Then we have them in the farm. We have them in front of their house. And then we have the end of it. Then you click on add, which means I have added all my this together, right? So now we start with the story here. This is the story here that I have added. Okay, we have all this, right? Now the next thing we need to do is to bring in the voiceover. I've already added the video. The videos sorry making it a story already now i'll click on how to add in my voiceover i'll click on audio i'll click on sounds then i'll click on top of this file the file uh, tool click on it then you click on extract you see extract from video no you click on device so i'll click on top of device you have extracted you have device you have itunes i'll click on top of device then select from device. I'll click select from device. 
it will take me to my gallery then i'll choose the audio because i saved it new story so that is it i'll click and then i click on open automatically this comes here now once it's here we'll listen to it and make sure it's the audio in a quiet village in nigeria yes it is now we click on the plus and automatically our story is added under our video okay now this story might be longer than the video let me give you a trick each scene you have to duplicate it you duplicate each scene okay like this them walking down the street you just click on top of it and you click duplicate okay now it makes it more longer okay you click on every of the two because this is ai so you need to do this duplicate for your story to match up with the voiceover if the story does not match up with the voiceover now we have it like this in a quiet village in nigeria far from the noise of the city lived an old woman and her husband two humble farmers whose love had lasted more than 50 years every morning before the sun so you see how you see how um the story is every morning we see have them before the sun even touched the rooftops they walked to their small farmland hand in hand they planted yams cassava and vegetables laughing joking and teasing each other just like young lovers so you see how the story is adding up now if you feel like okay where they telling this story is not adding up you click on this one again and duplicate until you match all your story when you're done you click on export and you export your video you post it on youtube tiktok instagram with your title make sure you have your title and a thumbnail okay make sure you have your title and a thumbnail and then you post your video and you're good to go like that easy peasy lemon squeezy easy peasy lemon squeezy okay so yeah guys ask your questions in the comment section and i'll put every tool that i use in the description box do not forget to subscribe share 